everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, we are going to do three new wiper cards, and these are all for Halloween. If you haven't seen my wiper cards, this is what it looks like. This is one that we did over the summertime. And so it has two little flaps on the side, and you just pull it open, and you have a little embellishment in the back pop open. That's called a wiper piece. That's why we call them wiper cards. All of the cards come with a printable sentiment that you can either use on the card, you can use it on the card front, you can put it on the card back, you can leave it, you can change it if you want to for your own sentiment. And these are A2 cards, so they fit a, um, an A2 envelope, which is four and a half by five and three quarters envelope. The cards themselves measure four and a quarter by five and a half. So I've got three of them today. We will go ahead and get started. The first card that we're going to do is the spider webs. And it has a little printout that says, let's hang out and the background for your little sentiment. The front piece and the back piece, there's only three pieces to this and the wiper piece. So on our front piece, we have a large spider web and a large spider. And then the background. You also have a small spider. You have three embellishment panels and you can cut these out of any color you want or printed paper. And then you have the, the front piece. Your wiper piece has a another medium spider or smaller spider, another web, and this is your wiper piece. And then your back piece has two embellishment panels. It has this rectangle and this smaller rectangle that's cut at an angle, and then the back piece. So let's start with the back piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have two score lines on the right hand side. You also have two tick marks and another tick mark. And then you also have this G that stands for guide that's cut out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this score line, the one closest to the middle, and you're going to fold it up. And now you're going to take this next score line, the one closest to the edge, and you're gonna fold it down. So when you're looking at it from the top, it kind of looks like a Z with a long piece on the top. And when you open it up, you have your guide right here on that middle piece that's folded. So now we need to add the embellishment panels to this piece. So I'm gonna take my rectangle that has an angle, and it is going to go on the right hand side. Right there in between the score line and the edge. And then we're going to take this piece and although it looks like a square, it is not. It is actually a rectangle and you want to glue it inside so that it fits and there's a little bit of a shadow. If I tried turning it this way, it's too tall. So we need to glue it inside there. Line that up right next to, but not covering the score line. I didn't get it in there very straight. Okay. And that's all there is to that back piece. So the next piece is our wiper card. And we are going to take this tab and we are going to fold it down. So there's a score line right around here in the lower right hand corner. We're going to score that down. Actually, we're going to score it up. Sorry. Yep, we're going to score it, fold it up. We'll get this right on the next card. Let's go ahead and glue our spider web to the wiper card. A little bit of glue. 
And you're going to line it up so that there is a little bit of a shadow all the way around that. And then we'll take our spider and we're going to glue him on there. Now, I like to add my spiders with pop dots, but on the wiper piece, you don't want that on there. You want it to be as flat as you can get. And in fact, I'm even going to put a little bit of glue on his legs just to keep him down pretty flat. It doesn't have to be perfect, but when you start popping that up, you don't want it catching. And I think we'll have him over here on the top, like he's climbing down. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to take this tab that we have folded up and we are going to put glue on it. And we are going to lay it, if I can bring this up so that you can see it, it's on really dark paper. There's a notch here and two notches there and the G. We are going to lay that so that it is in between those two notches and covers that G, your guideline. And then to make sure that it's working, you're gonna fold that. And as you fold it, this should come down here and hide down here, okay? Next up is our front piece. So the front piece has two score lines on the left-hand side. And we're going to take this and we're going to fold the score line closest to the middle down and the score line closest to the edge up. And that way we have a Z as well, but this time the longer part is on the bottom. Okay, and now we need to just add our embellishment pieces. And I think these would be really fun um, embossed. If you have an embossing folder that had like a spider web or something, that would be cool. Or some spider web paper. Um, so many different options. I love to see what everybody has done. Okay, the next rectangle piece is going to go in between the two score lines on that center fold. And then our last one's going to go right here. There's all of our embellishment pieces. Now we're going to take this purple piece and we are going to glue it to the front, matching all of the little notches. Get above it so I can see what I'm doing. Just like that. Okay. We can take our spider web and glue it on there. I have a little piece of paper sticking there. There you go. Just center it. And now we can glue the front to the back piece. So all I'm gonna do is flip it over and I'm gonna put tape along this edge and I'm actually gonna put two lines of tape. And then I'm going to put tape along this edge. And again, two lines. We're going to match up the two left-hand sides first and then the two right sides, making sure everything lines up along the top, the bottom, the sides. Just like that. So that's what it looks like when it lays flat. And then when you fold it, and you're gonna to wanna to do this a couple of times to kind of train the paper. Okay, so now I can decorate it up the way that I want. So I'm going to take my large spider and I'm going to add a foam to him. And 
I think I'll take my little spider and I'm just going to glue him right down. And then we have our sentiment. So I need to glue the sentiment to the back piece. And these three Halloween cards that I'm doing, the sentiment and the tag are all the same size so that if you wanted to interchange them, you could do that. And then we will just do that with some foam pop dots right here. And there is our spider wiper card. So it comes flat in the envelope. You pull it out, the receiver pulls on it. They have a nice little surprise. There's plenty of room on the back to write or stamp a message. You could even put a gift card pocket on the back of that if you wanted to. It's such a fun little card. Okay, let's go on to our next one. This is our Halloween frog, and I did do a Valentine frog, and it was so popular that I decided we needed a Halloween frog. So this one says, you put a spell on me. Then we have our frog, and it has lots of pieces. We have his two front legs. You have the front of his face. Whoops, those are sticking together. So you have the front of his face. You have this white piece and the two eyes. So this piece you will want to cut out of white because the only thing that's gonna show is the inside of his eyes. We have the frog body, and then we have the frog outline, and I cut it from a darker green because the only thing that you're gonna see is the spots. So you'll want this a little bit different color. And then the front piece, of course, has our three embellishment panels and the front piece. One, two, three, and our front piece. Then we have our wiper. And this wiper is just a little bit different. It actually has the hat, but it also has another printable saying that says eek. Um, you can add that or not. I kind of like the little hat tag. So we have the hat, the band, the eek, and the wiper piece. And then our back card has the rectangle. The rectangle cut at an angle, those are your embellishment pieces, and your back piece that has the two score lines on the right hand side. It also has the tick marks and the guide. So let's start this by turning this one up. We're going to fold it so that this line right here folds up. That's the one closest to the center. And the score line closest to the edge is going to fold down. So now we have that Z look again. Let's go ahead and add our embellishments panels to it. So this one that's cut at an angle goes on that right hand side. And this again is a rectangle, it's not a square. So you wanna make sure that it fits without um, hanging over the top piece. Just line it up along that score line. Okay, that's our back piece. So we're gonna set it aside for just a minute. We're going to bring up our wiper card, our wiper piece. And it has the score line right down there in the bottom right-hand corner, and we are going to fold that up. Okay, let's add our hat. And this is cut out, so there's a little bit of that black shadow all the way around it, just a teeny bit. And we have our hat band and our ta hat tag that says eek. I'm gonna put the tag on first and kind of do it at a little bit of an angle. Whoops, I keep bumping the camera stand. And then 
didn't have the hat stand right there. Hey, bring your back piece. We're going to put glue on the back of this tab that folds up. And then we're going to place that between the two notches and covering the G on that, um, on the back piece right there. It's hard to see with this light. Oops, I bumped it. Just like that. And then you'll want to make sure that when you fold it, oh, you know what, I'm going to need to fix that file because I don't want it to fold over this piece. So on this file, this hat will be just a little bit shorter, down just a little bit. Okay, so that is that piece right there. Now we're going to do our front piece. So the front piece has the two score lines on the left side. This time, the, the score line that is closest to the middle, we're gonna fold down. And the score line that is closest to the edge, we're going to fold up so that we have that Z, but the long piece is on the bottom this time. And then we will just go ahead and add our embellishment panels. We have the two longer rectangles. So we'll add those. going to go ahead and build our frog. So we're going to take the darker solid piece and then the body. And if you watched me do the inking on the haunted castle on my uh, the curvy cards, which I will show you, you could also ink the bodies, the body pieces, excuse me, of this frog to give it a little bit more dimension if you wanted to. Okay. And take the white face and glue it on, matching up those circles, the, the dots, spots on the frog, I guess is what you'd call it. And then his face. Again, matching up those circles. So now all you can see is the whites of the eyes and then his mouth is kind of hard to see, but it's actually the dark green is showing through on the mouth. And add his eyes. You can add them any way that you want them. On the Valentine frog, I had a gal that did, them, did googly eyes. She put googly eyes in there instead of those black pieces and it was so cute. Okay, on his legs, I'm going to add some pop dots down at the bottom, just kind of to make them look, oh, that's a pretty small piece, a little bit dimensional. But you could ink this, or you can glue them right on there if you want to. And then we're gonna take this piece and we are going to glue it to the front. And there is just the tiniest bit of purple shadow showing behind him. It. It's not very much. Okay, now we can go ahead and glue this together. So I'm gonna flip my frog over and I'm gonna put tape along this edge and you actually want it to be about a half an inch thick, so I'm gonna do two lines and then flip it over and then I'm gonna put tape on this back fold between the score line and the edge. So I am doing two lines again. Let's start with the right or the left edge, match that up, 
both the top and the bottom and the edge. And then bring it over here to the side and match up the bottom and the side. And there's our frog. And he's kind of got a bubble because that hat is just a millimeter too long. And I will fix that on the file. It'll be good. But there is our card. Oh, we almost forgot. You put a spell on me. Flip that over. Let's do some foam tape on that. And you can put that anywhere you want on that card. So there is our Halloween frog wiper card. You pull it open. He's got the little magic hat that says eek. So cute. All right, the last one is the Haunted Mansion. And I have a piece, a sentiment, and I must have dropped it somewhere. So we'll see if I, it either shows up or I might have to print off another one for that. But it also has a sentiment just like these guys. Okay, so we have our wiper piece. And our wiper piece on this has a bat and a two-layered ghost. So we have this layer. And then we have the black layer that the eyes and the mouth are going to show through. And there is our wiper piece. Our front piece... I'm going to show you that last. Our middle piece, our back piece has the two embellishment panels and the back piece with the score lines. And then our front piece, this one probably has the most pieces because it's the Haunted Mansion, um, but it has the window frames and the door. Whoops, can't forget the door. It has our roof pieces, three roof pieces. It has the front of the house with the windows cut out. So this piece will be whatever color you want the front of your house to be. It has the second layer has is yellow and that is gonna be the lights. The, excuse me, the only thing that's gonna show through is through the window. So whatever color you want your lights, um, you can cut this out of yellow or you can leave leave this out if you want like black in your windows and then the third piece is black and the only piece that will show is your um, chimney unless you don't use the yellow piece then you can have black in your windows so i gave you both options we also have a little flying bat for that as well there are three embellishment pieces and the background piece so let's do, I'm going to scoot all this over. Let's do our back piece first. So if I slide those off, you have the two score lines on the right hand side. You have the titch marks and your cutout G where your wiper piece is going to go. So we're going to bring this up and we're going to take this score line that's closest to the center and we are going to fold it up towards us. And this cardstock is a little bit heavier than the others that I use, so it's a little bit thicker. And then we're going to take the score line that's closest to the edge, and we are going to fold it down. And you should have a Z with the longest part on the back, or on the top. Open that up, and let's glue our two embellishment pieces. So the first one is this rectangle that's cut at an angle. And the second one is our rectangle that goes in the back. And remember, it's actually a rectangle, not a square. So you don't want to place it so that the pieces are over the top. Whoa. Lugan's having some issues here. What's going on? There we go. 
And we're going to put that right next to the score line so that there's a little bit of the shadow showing through. Next up is our wiper piece, and it has this um, score line in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to turn that up. To decorate it, I'm going to glue on the black piece first. And then our white ghost. And he has a little bat that he's holding. Or you can put this bat somewhere else on another, on another area of the card if you would rather. But I'm gonna have him hold it. Okay, let's add the wiper piece. So we're gonna fold this piece up and we're gonna put glue on that corner. And then we're going to put it so that it is right on the titch marks, in between the titch marks, and covering that G. And not on the score line, so it's right next to the score line. So just like, whoops, let me pull it down, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna check it after it's dried, give it a second to dry, and make sure that it will fold in. And it does, perfect. Okay, let's take our front piece, And we have this score line that is by the center, and we're gonna fold it down. And then the score line that's towards the edge, we're going to fold up, so that again we have a Z with the longer part on the bottom. And now we can add our embellishment panels. embellishment panels, these rectangles that go on the tabs in between the score lines. So what are some of your traditions at Halloween? We play home base. I did it when the kids were little and now that we have grandkids and most of them are pretty close we've continued it. So home base is we have food and apple cider and hot chocolate and everybody goes out and goes trick-or-treating, does their own thing, their parties, whatever they want to do. And then when they're done, everyone gathers at grandma's house and we have a dinner and just hang out. Okay, so there is our front piece. Let's go ahead and build the castle. So I'm gonna start with the black, and I am gonna use the yellow piece so that it looks like I have lights in my house. I hope my dog's starting to bark. I didn't put him in the kennel, so. And now we're going to take this piece the front piece of your house. And if you have an embossing folder with like bricks or wood, that would be really cool. Maybe I should have glued this on here instead of the tape runner. And then we are going to add our roof pieces. The bigger piece goes in the middle and the two smaller pieces go on the side. And then our door. You could cut the door and the windows out of matching cardstock or different colors. We have our top window with the shutters. 
and those inside shutter pieces are pretty tiny, but the machine cuts them no problem. And our window frames. Now, on these window frames, the, the middle piece is not centered, and that is by design. I wanted them to kind of look wonky. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're getting glue on the right pieces on the right side before you glue those down. See, I had them backwards. But I kind of wanted them a little bit off-centered, wonky looking, oldish. Let's go ahead and glue him down. I'm going to use glue because I want to make sure that chimney gets glued down really well. Whoa, that was not straight at all. And now it's stuck. So it might have to be good enough. Okay, much better, kind of. My glue's all dry. There we go. Oh, my roof is sliding. Okay, now we're gonna turn it over and I'm gonna put tape on the, this edge right here, and we're gonna do it about a half an inch. So I'm gonna run my tape runner twice, and then flip it over, and I'm gonna put tape on side that last fold. Match up the, we're gonna start on the left-hand side, match the top, the left, and the bottom. And then bring it over to the right side and match the bottom and the right edge. And there's our haunted house. So now we have a bat you could add somewhere if you wanted to. I'm gonna put it up here on the top, but you wanna make sure that the wings don't hang over the edge of the card or it won't fit in the envelope. And I also wanna make sure I don't get glue on that back piece. So I'm just gonna put glue on the left side of the wing and then lay it right there. You could put him on the house somewhere. You could even put him on the background if you wanted to. And then we have our saying that I seem to have lost, but I will get it before we take pictures and you'll just tape it or glue it to the front. And there is your haunted house wiper card. A little ghost poking out when you pull them open. So I hope you've enjoyed these cards. I hope that you will give them a try. If you love these, you might also like the curvy cards that I've done. So here is the curvy card spider web that just pops open and stands on your mantle. And we also have the double curvy card, which is the haunted house, haunted castle. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will give one of these cards a try. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And have a great day.